I think my favorite feature within Google Plus are Hangouts. And there are a couple of different ways that you can hang out. Over on the right hand side, there's this green icon that allows you to have a personal uh, hangout or a personal chat with uh, another person, or it could be even a group of people. Now this could be just a text-based chat like we're normally used to, or you can do a, a video conference or a video hangout with them. The text-based chats are actually saved within your Gmail, so you can go back and refer to them within an archive. There are also video hangouts, which is a video chat that's live between you and up to about 15 people if you're on an education domain, and there are fewer people, like 8 or 10 or something like that, if you're just on a commercial Gmail account. The, the part that I think is the most exciting, though, are Hangouts on Air. So that's the yellow icon, same, same icon, just a different color. So Hangouts on Air allow you to record and broadcast your Hangouts live on YouTube. When you click on the Hangouts on Air icon, go to this page, you see some current Hangouts that are going on, but you can join in and watch along if, you, if you'd like. But this is where you start a Hangout on Air. So Hangouts on Air work by using your YouTube account. Now, this is going to be kind of fun because you're going to be able to see me in the background talking as I do this. So the first thing, if you haven't done this already, you need to set up your YouTube account and connect it to this. This will verify your account. It will send you an SMS. And when you get your SMS, you enter that code. So my account has now been enabled. So now I can go back into Google Plus and try to start a Hangout on Air. Okay, after I've set it up, I go back and I check my accounts and everything is good to go. So you set up a title for your Hangout. You can also add people directly here. I'm gonna be a little bit lonely and I am just going to hang out by myself. By default, the video call is restricted within your domain when you're using an education account. You can change that if you'd like, but for the most part, we'll leave ours restricted within our education domain. Gives you some warnings about Hangouts on Air and the, your privacy settings. You have to agree to that in order to do this. You notice at the top it's preparing the broadcast. You've got your controls here for muting your mic, turning off your camera, and that kind of thing. So at this point, you can invite more people if you'd like. Okay, the, when you click on invite more people, you start adding their names just like you would normally. After everything is loaded, you can start the broadcast by clicking this button. So it's probably good practice for you to get everybody on board or as many people as you need beforehand. You can talk about what you're going to be broadcasting and uh, be prepared for, for when it actually does happen and you do go live. It's as easy as clicking the button. You get a warning and you click OK. So it gives you a little 10 second countdown and while it's doing this it's actually rendering a little intro on YouTube for this to work. Okay, so now we are broadcasting publicly. We are now live. So if people were to go back to the page, to their Google Plus stream, they will see now, they can click on this and actually watch me as I'm broadcasting or watch the broadcast live. Now here's a little trick. If you don't want people to go come in and watch it live, you can, as soon as you start broadcasting, come in and delete this post. All right, that just hides it until you're ready until you're ready to um, share it with everybody. Okay, So I continue, continuing to broadcast, we have our discussion. Just a quick little intro to these uh, apps over on the left. You can have a right side chat that fills in. You can also screen share, which is a great feature. There are also Google Effects. Now these are fun little party hats and things like that. You can watch a YouTube clip together. You can open up a drive. There are all kinds of more apps as well. Uh, and these will only be expanding in the future. So you can play ping pong together, it looks like, or pool if, you, if you'd like to. Right. So you can add more apps in. After we're done, you just end your broadcast. All right, our broadcast has been terminated, and right now in the background, it's being processed on YouTube. If you click on this embed link, you actually get an iframe HTML code so if you had a Google site or some other site that you want to do embed this in live while you're going or afterwards, you have that code here. You also have the direct link to YouTube and this is where it will end up 
in a very short amount of time. So we'll go take a look at it on YouTube here in a second, because right now it's still doing some rendering. So when you're done with the Hangout, you can continue to, to interact with the people in your Hangout after you've ended the broadcast. But when you're all done, just click Exit. Now here's one little pointer. If you have a bunch of people, like more than four in a Hangout, when new people are added, they usually come in muted. So you might want to tell them to take a, take a look at the icons up at the top of the screen if you can't hear somebody. So I'm going to exit my Hangout. It's now over. Okay, so I copied that URL. Now if I go and I paste that in, it's going to take me to YouTube where it's already been posted. It puts this little intro logo at the front, and then in a second you will see me pop it. We are now live. So if people were to go back to the page... So you get the idea. If I go into my video manager, at this point, I can edit the settings of this video. And I could change this now to unlisted if I didn't want it to be on my YouTube channel. So that's a little trick if you don't want it to be viewable on your YouTube page, but you want to have the link so that you could share it with someone else individually. So that's the basics of Hangouts on Air. Remember, it's a video chat that allows you to record and broadcast live on YouTube. If I were to start a video hangout here. With these Google Plus Hangouts on the right hand side under chat, it's the same technology except for it's not broadcast live. So these aren't recorded in any way. But the technology is the same. So those are your two options as far as video hangouts go within the new Google Plus.